In December 1918, Woodrow Wilson set off for the Paris Peace Conference. Germany looked to the president to negotiate a fair peace for them based on his 14 points. Wilson thought this was his chance to remake the world. In his 14 points, it said that all peoples everywhere should be able to decide who should rule them. He also wanted to set up an international peacekeeping organization called the League of Nations to prevent another world war. Wherever he went, people turned out to welcome him. In France, Italy and Britain, thousands greeted the president. But the leaders of the nations weren't so pleased to see Wilson. Britain's Prime Minister, David Lloyd George, was afraid that Wilson's plans would mean the end of Britain's empire. The French Premier, Georges Clemenceau, wanted to make sure that Germany could never invade France again, and he felt that Wilson's plans just wouldn't work. Also at the peace talks were lots of the smaller nations. They hoped that Wilson's 14 points would mean that they would gain independence. Delegations from all over the world came to me to solicit the friendship of America. They frankly told us that they were not sure they could trust anybody else. Some of them came from countries which I have to my shame to admit that I never heard of before. Clearly, discussions between the Allies over the peace terms weren't going to be easy. But a solution was needed to end the chaos throughout Europe. Nowhere more so than in Germany. The Kaiser had gone, and the continuing Allied naval blockade meant there were still severe food shortages. Different political groups were struggling for power. People were fighting in the streets of Berlin. Germany's new government used ex-soldiers to restore order. In just a few days, in January 1919, over a thousand people were killed or wounded. In Paris, the peace talks were now being held behind closed doors. And Wilson was giving in on one point after another. A young British diplomat, Harold Nicholson, was called in to advise the leaders. He had believed in Woodrow Wilson and his 14-point plan. He was angry that the president was giving in. The door opens. A grand room with the windows open upon the garden and the sound of water sprinkling from a fountain. Clemenceau, Lloyd George and President Wilson have pulled up armchairs and crouch low over the map. It's appalling that these ignorant men should be cutting parts of the world to bits, as if they were dividing a cake. During the afternoon there is the final revision of the frontiers of Austria. Hungary is divided up, lazily, carelessly. Then another frontier. Then tea and macaroons. <laughs>